Hey folks, how about one for old time's sake? What the crap's going on? Air of Wargroves here, and uh, we're going to be bringing some woe to our enemies. This is actually not exactly where the last episode left off. This is going to be um, a slight difference. The last episode left off with me defending Castle Drakenhof against Helmengorst, and we did, and it was extremely grindy. It took me like 25 minutes to kill all the vampires. It was very boring. Left my army partway depleted, and then Hawkland came in right behind for another extremely grindy battle in which they barely exactly. won. It shows their whole force here, though, because after the battle, it gave them back almost all the units they lost. Um, but they took Drakenhof. Doesn't matter, because we're really just here to try and retake the Gryffindor. You might be saying, Eric, why didn't you show us those? Because they were grindy, and it took literally the whole video, and we accomplished nothing other than fighting two really grindy battles uh, just to lose that settlement in the end which I didn't think would be uh, very interesting for you all to watch. So I loaded it to here. I'm going to get some comments from folks. Um, Daniel says, I'm waiting for Patchy to rise from the grave and rule as a historical and fantasy forever general. Uh, I think we're going to make Patchy Tree Man here. I'm going to actually give Draika a whole bunch of glamoured wood elf units, and I'm going to try and recruit a tree lord that will name Patchy to take over my tree army. Now, some of you might be like, Eric, hey, really? You're going to give Draika a bunch of glamour units? I actually think it's kind of poetically hilarious, right? Let's check this out. All right, we have completed the ritual of rebirth in the Griffinwood. We got a piece of amber. We got 5,000 in abundant growth. So the deep roots are cleared. Let's take a look here, Quiddle Unchained. So we have to raid Middenheim. Let's see, I need to also get this um, Quiddle here. That would be great to have an Unforgiven. Three battles against dwarves. I don't know what in the world these Skaven are thinking, but I'm... Really? How would I lose a unit against this with this army? Oh, this auto-resolve. It's so bad. Alright, let's see. It's so bad. Ugh. It's like hard to explain even how bad. Alright, we're at war with pretty much everybody around here. Uh, the best way to gonna, we're going to have to make money is to just going to be raid, sack, loot, um, burn, destroy, that type of thing. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to level up Draika here. Let's see, natural order... Finished Pendulum. She's got Arcane Conduit. Is there anything else up here that we think is really important for us? Yeah, we want this Insidious Glamour because I'm going to be using that here soon. And let's see. Expeditious Endeavor. It never hurts to be able to move around the battlefield quickly. Like I said, this is going to eat up most of our remaining... Capability. I'm thinking we're gonna make Patchy a a Lord of um, uh, a tree of uh, lore of life here. Hex acts on targets in an area 11 seconds. Affects enemies in range 100 meters. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. All right, so we're gonna get this tree. We're gonna rename him. This is. Patchy. Austrian tree man. All right. <laughs> Patchy the Austrian tree man. Um, we're definitely going to want to open up his healing ability with earth blood, and then we'll want to give him the things that are going to improve all the forest units. And we can't reach him on this turn. We can start passing off these units. If Draika has uh, anything that is dropping the cost of upkeep, then we're about to feel it. Don't think it happened. All right, so now we just need some uh, heroes. So we pass this army off to him. Let's get back to Gryffindor. Probably a Branch Wraith makes sense, right? And since he has Lore of Life, the Branch Wraith, uh, we could get Shadows. and Honestly, we could get both. We could do Beast and Shadows just to have some fun here. Wow, the Befuddlement here, too. And 
increased power reserves would be pretty nice too. Let's make our shadow branch wraith get the cluster of radiance. Replenish troops. Let's kind of start with that. Mystifying miasma. Let's recruit another branch wraith. Recruit hero, branch wraith. Let's do a beast. And this will be a very magic focused armies, and we're going to get this other befuddlement branch wraith in here. And let's start with. I don't know if this can be applied twice to the same army. Maybe it can. I'm going to go ahead and do it. Open up Wisson's Wild Form. All right. Drika, on the other hand, is going to need to start recruiting some units. We should have access to some really good stuff. I'm thinking with Drika, I'd like to get a hold of some Blade Singers. I didn't build the right building for Blade Singers, did I? I did not. I don't want. I know I just built all this, and now I'm going to lose all the time and effort spent in it. Um. I have to tear something down in order to build this. I don't want to. I can't be any of my income, so that's off the table. Can't tear down my defenses, so that's off the table. I know I just built it, but I don't think I need the forest dragons right now. Not for the army that I'm going to be building. It doesn't look like Draka has access to stagnites either. It kind of sucks. I want to build this one right here, and I'd love to. Oh, we can't do. We can't do Blade Singers with her either. Well, crap! That sucks. No Blade Singers. Hmm. Didn't realize that, so let me rethink this then with Draka. If we're not going to be able to get a hold of Blade Singers. Then probably a mix of infantry will do. But regardless, I'm not going to need Great Eagles or any of this stuff. So even though I'm just building this, let's get that money back. And then demolish this. Build what we need instead. We can't get access to Waste Talkers either. Crap, man, all the fun stuff. We could get deep wood scouts. They have limited range, but they do um, decent damage. The swift shiver shards do. They do quite a lot more damage. It's not AP, but they do a lot of extra damage at the cost of range. Oh well, man, this takes away a lot of the fun of uh, even using some of these units. I'm about half tempted to not do it. I'm thinking I might just grab some glade guard with starfire, starfire shafts. And mix it into a tree army because the tree army is going to be quite a bit more interesting. I'm kind of thinking a combination of units would be the best for Draka. Just if I had to take a guess at it here. Huh. Um. Well, let's let's start with some. Uh, I think poison, a mix of poison and starfire shafts would be good. Like one poison, then some starfire shafts. Um, of course, they can't vanguard deploy, and Draka's army is all vanguard, so let's go ahead and go with the swift shiver shards. Dump some of those together. Trees. Yeah, it's going to really drive us into the hole in terms of cost, but we'll try and make up for it. Um, speak of it gives the character upkeep for tree man units, melee defense for tree man, replaces the glamoured with insidious glamour. Well, that's kind of cool, so that means we could have another army that uses those units if needed. Upkeep for dryads gets dropped, and it makes the lord unbreakable. about here. Bonus is large for cave bats, feral manticore, giant spiders, great hawks, and wolves. Extra speed. 
and we get the passive ability of Greater Arcane Conduit, which is really cool. What was the Dryad one again? Attribute Stock for all Treekin units. Now that is pretty sick, actually. And then if we get the Uberry Infusion... Yeah, 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 yeah. So Treekin are gonna get Stock. And then we can go in here. And the Wisdom of the U. Yes. This right here. Let's do that. Okay, all right, let's see if this works. Um, Louis says, speaking of punctuation, did you mean air quotes on air quotes? <laughs> yes, probably. Senshi says, roll with the branch wraith that burn the pure light of darkness. Whatever you say, Senshi, I'm on board. Trantor says, name some stagmites. Kiss, I wish, we can't get stagmites in here. It says knights in Santa's service, but we might be able to do that on one of our other campaigns, obviously. Oh, now you want a peace treaty. That's so terrible. No. I'm going to burn some of your settlements to the ground to make some money. Um, Colin says, a new Draka army of glamoured blade singers. That's what I wanted, but apparently we can't recruit them. So, they're not a recruitable unit for Draka's faction, unfortunately. We can only get war dancers, which war dancers aren't near as good as blade singers. Um, I think a combo of the trees like the tree kin and wildwood rangers would be brutal though um that'd be a pretty nice combination why is draika taking chaos why do we have a chaos problem is it from my sword and why is chaos corruption going up with all these characters sitting here it's kind of odd all right um Odd indeed. What else can we get from... I want global. Uh, I don't have any dryads in here, so... Alright, let's let's go start making some money. Patchy's army is ready to go help us make some money. We're gonna go... We're going to go start raising a bunch of enemy settlements to make some cash, because we're about to go into the negative pretty hard here. But I think we can operate this way. It'll be okay. I know Zotes can't Vanguard deploy, but I kind of want some, because the anti-large they provide is very good. Zotes, tree men. And I'm thinking some uh, Wildwood Rangers. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you screaming. All right, there we go. Let's try that. We finished Wisdom of the U. Um, and what was I working on? I think we were working down this right here. All right, let's end our turn. Um, let's see. Whack Cackle says we need more loam jokes. At a certain point, air will root out all the vamp or er, lame jokes. I think is what he meant. At a certain point, air will root out all the vampires. Yes. Yes, I am attempting to root them out. I appreciate the lame joke. It's quite a good one. Always appreciated. Um, let's see. Cody Green says, I like hearing the old intro. It's a little surprise at the start. Well, you got to hear it today, then. You got to hear it today. Uh, Spencer Sabin says, Hey, Air, do you think 800 is enough to build a decent computer that will allow me to play Warhammer at 1440p? At 1440p, absolutely not. Um, you're, you're not going to get good performance at 1440p for under a thousand dollars. You might be able to put together a decent computer that would play at probably like high settings. You'd have to maybe tinker with Warhammer a little um, at 1080p, but you're not gonna be maxing the game out, that's for sure. Uh, not at $800. This, this game is extremely taxing um, because CA has got a lot of work to do when it comes to optimizing, which they've started in some of the newer titles, which of course is appreciated. Um, I'm just going to clear the Heathland and take the money. I don't know. If I occupy it, I can go ahead and replenish while we're here. And I get a little bit of money from fighting. We don't need a ton of money to offset. We've got the moment. So we have Earthblood. I'm going to start over here so I can get this, um, this Ancient Bark and uh, Piercing Thorns to help this army out. But with the Uberry Infusion, it's going to make our units pretty strong. Pretty strong. All right. 
Stryka is still recruiting at the Griffinwood. I need to build this up so I can get Wildwood Rangers. That's all we're really waiting on at this point. We'll worry about the aspects in a moment. Let's uh, see here. Oh, let's open up Pendulum. And uh, let's go with Wildheart. Get some increased magic. Growth. Okay. Send the turn. We're going to just kill as many enemy settlements as we can over the next few turns, try and make some money off of it. And then any enemy armies we fight, the more you fight, the more money you make. And you can actually operate in the negative in terms of, like, income per turn and still be in the positive if you're doing enough fighting. So it's the Wood Elves kind of have some horde-type mechanic to them in that way in the, in the sense that you pick up a lot of loot if you uh, do quite a bit of fighting. These aren't going to be worth a whole lot because they're just small settlements. So see, even right here, we, we made money on this turn. I could get even more than that by clearing it, but I'm not that hurt yet, so I'm just going to take these back for the moment, and then I'll, I'll raise other settlements, like over here, against the vampires and stuff. And we do have the ability to get a little bit more income. And I'm going to do it by building this one right here. We can get all the way up to 1,000, so that's pretty great. It's just going to take a lot of kin. Chaos Corruption is pretty significant in the Griffin Wood. There's apparently not much I can do about it. When I unlock that Untainted for the whole faction, that will help. All right, Patchy the Tree Man. Let's go ahead and start with Piercing Thorns. And let's see here. Feebling Foe could be good. So could Withering, Call of Wood. Yeah, let's go with Call of Wood so these units can be good support for other units in melee. There we go. All right. And I am a little bit of extra income, huh? It's only 50 income though. That's not really gonna be worth it. I just want the better replenishment and better garrison. Having the uh, Hawk Riders and the Tree Kin is just a better garrison. And I, and I don't really care if we hold these settlements long term. I'm just taking them back at the moment so I can replenish and continue to kill our enemies and make money. That's all we're really attempting here. Sebedee Swooty says, Air, you may not like beer and literature, which are two of my favorite things, but I still love your vids and your automaton mind. <laughs> I do kind of feel like I have a mind of an automaton sometimes. Bring it on, Frostman. Everybody wants a piece of Drica. Um, thanks, Sebedee. Appreciate all the support. Thanks for being a member of the channel uh, for so long and for all that you do to support. It is appreciated. Let's go crump some Skaven. Really? They've got a good chance? You think so? I beg to differ. Well, Patchy gets to be involved in his first action here while Drica is recruiting her new army. And I'm pretty sure we're going to do well. Yeah, pretty sure we're going to do well here. Trika's new army ought to be pretty entertaining, too. Let's get another one here. Nicholas Kester says, Hey, I'm enjoying your campaign so far. Could I ask you to name one of your zo zo honey bunches of zoats? <laughs> I need to remember that when I get back out to the screen. I need you all to help me name these, um, these branch wraiths, too. Alright, this ought to be pretty fun. We're going to get right up in this Gaven face. Um, I can see a lot of heavy hitters on this flank. So, I'm gonna stick some trees up here, hopefully in pretty solid numbers. Because there's some brood horrors, and I'll do the same on this flank in case we run into brood horrors. And let's keep our branch wraiths kind of supporting the dryads. Yeah, something like this ought to work. Come flying in from the sides with the hawks and then the spiders. I'm actually going to run the spiders over here and help mulch some of these brood horrors and other units. Or actually, the zotes would be better at that. Let's run the spiders and the hawks in from this flank. Alright. 
Start battle, so it's up here. Group one, push forward. Spideys, hawks. Let's go find some targets. Mess those units up a little. Push forward. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Get out of there, spiders. Alright, this is gonna turn messy real fast. Take out these brood horrors. on this unit send some reinforcements. Okay, this... Let's help fight. Pendulum a little of this. It's actually not what I want right now. Okay, we crush the brood horrors out here. problem over there. Let's crunch these rattling guns. Alright, let's leave that brute horror alone. Okay, we got a lot going on here. It's a big fight. Let's leave this flank mostly alone. Crush that. Let's go take care of this brood horror. We'll get these rattling guns. This is not good over here. We are in way too deep. Let's bring our lord over to help. Yeah, let's bring the zotes. help over here. Support. Okay, how are we doing back here? Hawks, get up out of there. Dryads can come take over that fight. Okay, cleaned up this flank. Alright, we're rolling. Zotes, you attack that. You all attack this. Branch Wraith down here. And let's go get these regrouping missile units. Took out the enemy Lord. Swing some more units in this direction. Alright, the Zotes have been really, really important. I lost my lost track of my spiders earlier. It's okay. They were fighting a brood horror apparently, and doing okay. All right, one crushed Skaven army into fertilizer. So Patchy fertilizes the forest with Skaven blood for the first time, almost certainly not the last time, and that should be quite a bit of funding that gets provided. Not to mention some skill point upgrades that we'll earn from this, so should be quite worthwhile. All right, where are we at here? We can take the extra cash, or we can replenish. Um, let's just take the cash, because that's our objective right now, is to pay for the armies. And we'll be replenishing, because we're in our own territory. And we should be able to finish the Skaven army, though they got away with quite a few units. Um, 
I don't want to auto-resolve this because it's going to take Dryads away from me and I do not approve. <laughs> not in the least. Uh, so let's go ahead and fight this again. We'll get some more cash off of this, so Apache will have earned us enough for several turns worth of army upkeep here. And that's the objective now that we have two armies rolling. Uh, even if we go into the negative, like I said, we're just going to loot, scoot, beat people down, take money, and we need to take another forest. But with two armies, I can have one out earning enough money to help pay for the other, while the other takes another main forest settlement. Um, so let's get our healthier dryads. Put them up here. Gonna lead with the trees. Actually, we can do something like this. Just put a tree man all the way to the flank. Main tree here. There, there we go. We got a nice little blocky army set to go here. And yeah, let's put a zoat on each flank to help with brood horrors. I'll bring the hawks in if I feel like I need to, but let's go ahead and group the zoats. Group the hawks just make it easier. All right, start the battle. We'll go find a way to get involved. Hawks up here. All right, got a decent starting winds of magic. I'm gonna stop these units from charging. Brood Horrors will not be having a good time of that fight. Alright, Hawks. Right here's your target. Let's get in on these Brood Horrors. Need my cavalry to scoot in over here. Some healing. Crush this brood horror. Lock everything in place right here. Alright, Skaven are getting crunched. Our Hawks got jumped on by some brood horrors back here. I don't think we'll lose a unit, even though one might route. I am shocked how long the group is hanging on back here. These brood horrors are fast. They're fun units that got added to the game when you're playing as the Skaven, and they're kind of fun to fight against, too. Gives the Skaven a new element that you have to try and counter. All right, there we go. Shouldn't have lost any units. And that should be the end of their army because they already retreated once. So I think that that will be a good result for us. And hopefully this episode has been more interesting than if you just had to watch me grind out two extremely boring battles against vampires and a trashy Hawkland army. Now we have a whole second army. We've gotten to name said army. I need to name one of my zotes Honey Bunches of Zotes. So I will try and take care of that here. Let's see. Come on, come on. Load out. Warhammer. Let's see. Some more uh, comments here. Uh, Mustafa says, I missed the live stream, though it's hard to catch them. I'm going to be doing some this week. In fact, I'm going to set one up for today when I'm recording this. I'm going to try and get back to my Tuesday, Thursday live streams schedule, so I miss them too. It's just been crazy leading up to this time, um, but, you know, I think I've got some time coming up. Plus, I'm going to be off for a week for Christmas, so I'm probably going to be doing some live streaming then too. Right, let's improve our dryads. Skaven be dead. Let's get positioned right here. Made ourselves a heaping pile of cash. And we can get ready to uh, recruit Wildwood Ranger, uh, Rangers. And we can do Howl of the Forest. 
I know these can't overlap each other, but if we put them on different flanks, we can basically add plus nine melee attack to each flank. And then our tree himself should have... Um... No, never mind. He doesn't come with a similar ability. Or, yeah, 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 he does. I think this is the same that the other ones get, though, so I may... Uh, may focus elsewhere with his skills, but I don't know then we can spread that out all the way across the battlefield honestly So it may still be useful. It'll kind of depend. Let's end one more turn here So as far as money making we're fine uh, but We shouldn't have too much problem like keeping ourselves viable. Oh my gosh Here's Throt. Um, yeah run I'm Not really a big fan of running. Okay, not good This is not the ideal situation to find ourselves in but I think if we use the right units, we can probably win this. It's giving him a lot of good chances because he's got Gorich and stuff. But uh, like I said, if we play this right, I actually feel like we've got more than a fair chance of winning. So let's let's take care of business. Killing Throt would give us a great deal of money. We need to... Our deployment is going to be key. So they have Jazales. They've got some Poison Wind Globadiers, I think. A Doom Flayer. Some Wolf Rats. It's actually not a very good army here from... Uh, from Throt. It's, yeah, it's not a particularly good army. Alright, let's do this. I don't think Throt is particularly well equipped to take down a really hard-hitting bark-heavy army here. And I don't want to lose units, so I'm going to just kind of hide some of these back here. And same thing with the Hawks. If we can fight the battle without them, let's do it. Get some Spideys over here. Something like this. So we crash into Throt like this. Reinforce with our Zotes. We're going to keep the Zotes handy. Because there are definitely some big targets here. Okay. Like I said, I'll keep the Hawks at the ready just in case, but... Yeah, yeah, this should be good positioning because it should minimize their missile fire that they're capable of, too. The Spidey's out of hiding. I'm, I Actually, I will bring the Hawks up just to keep an eye out for routing units, and we'll, chase, we'll just use them to chase routing units. Go ahead and drop a few more hit points on Apache. Oh, those Doom Flayers. I don't know if they'll actually do all that great against the Spiders, to be honest. Let's take the Doom Flayers. Um... Should be able to crush Gorich here. Okay. Let's get in here and start fighting. Okay. Well, I thought we'd be able to crunch Gorich. He's actually holding out rather well. Send in reinforcements, had a summon against us. Heal Patchy. Let's lock these units down. Attack some of them. Hawks. There actually is some good targets over here for you. Let's actually send some Dryads through that gap as well. Gorich is getting wrecked. Patchy is taking way too much damage at the moment, so we need to fall back. The Doom Flayers will be dealt with in time. Though at the moment, it's a bit of a mess. This may be worth losing Eagles. Yeah, we can't lay off on some of these units. Patchy over here. Uh, let's see. 
Okay, this is now a waste of time over here. Let's clear these units out and head this way. See if we can work on Throts. Got a summon on our Zotes. Do some healing. How we doing? Uh, Patchy, get out of there. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Okay. Alright, spiders, come on, man. Take those Doom players out. Hawks, get in there. Waste of time back here for Zotes. Right. Patchy is still alive. This is good news. Both our tree men are still alive. That's also good news. Um, let's forget the night runners. Take care of business this way. Alright, Hawks, let's switch over here. All right, Zotes, let's get in here, help finish off Gorich. Let's regrow Patchy and help protect him. All right, so Patchy just got a bunch of hit points. Let's get on Throt. All right. Good. Spidey's got in here. Eagles. Go finish the Doom Flayers. I'd say the Skaven are in a bit of trouble here. Let's block that for a minute. There we go. Mystify their miasma. Spiders chewing on some of these units. Skaven are in rough shape. Throt is the only thing holding their chances together. Right, let's not get let's not get lured out too far away. Let's take care of business right here in the middle. Alright, well, well we probably will lose some units, but considering that we get to take out Throt's army in the process, this feels like a trade well worth it. Throt is absolutely tanking. Let's get all three tree units focused on Throt. Let's keep away from these skirmishers with these eagles. Let's just kind of run off over here. We've already lost enough units as it is. If we focus on killing Throt, the rest of the Skaven are going to follow. That's exactly what happened there. Perfect. We did it. Too much bark for the Skaven. <laughs> they couldn't cut through the bark. Let's see, let's get some more comments in here. Um, let's see, Shushin Alone says, Air, uh, let that someone who freaks out on your what the crap's going on eat fell bat doo doo and marry had the zombie. <laughs> Daniel Brown says it'd be cool. You get like a movement range bonus in the forest that would come with you if you spread the forest. Yeah, that would be nice. Jacob Tan says, Air, now that you've uh, said you don't drink beer, could you tell us why? As a person who loves beer, I'm always confused when I hear that. Uh, don't like it. Not something I want to do. Not something I need to do. I've never just felt the need for it. Yeah, lots of reasons. Just something I'd choose not to do. Um, but like I said, to each their own. Do what you need to do. I ain't judging. Um, Somebody Swooty says, Air, don't go too far into vampire territory. I made that mistake and got betrayed by the Empire. Yeah, exactly. The Empire just looking for scraps. We only lost two Dryad units, which is pretty acceptable, I think, all things considered. We can get a pretty significant bounty off of Throt here. And then we'll just fall back and uh, to Essen. We do have a plague spreading at Mordheim, so we'll have to watch out. Don't want to get plague right now. Um, let's see... Manfred, can you just lay off? Like, seriously? No one likes you. You smell bad. Well, fortunately, we're still replenishing at Essen. But, uh, we're gonna make some money off Manfred. 
Like I said, all this money has been good, though. Jake Akimbo says, what the crap's going on? Not much, man. Things are good. Uh, Blake Beckham says, Air, I do think you'd like the Jurassic Park novel. Um, probably. Probably. And it's probably better than the movie, like a lot of novels are, but... A lot of times I can't bring myself to read something when I feel like I know what the ending is, unless it's a book that I've read before and it's just like so good that it can pull me back in. So, I don't know. I don't know. What do we get here? Uh, I got any units that I can just throw in this army quickly. Is this a glamoured unit? Yeah, it gets glamoured. That sucks. It's a really fun unit to have though. Be a very fun unit to have. So with the Wardens of Sithral, let's throw the Wardens of Sithral in because they can Vanguard deploy and add a little bit to our Dryad line. This will allow us to get right back into the fight here. I don't know if we need this. I don't know. Let's just go Aspect to the Birch. We've been having fun with it right now. Let's see. The Uberry infusion is clearly quite good. Trika finished some recruiting here. Let's... Oh, she, no, she didn't finish. She's still waiting. But we can start getting some Wildwood Rangers. So that'd be four Wildwood Rangers. Um, got two Zotes. What else do we want to put in this army? Uh, some Azrae Spear, probably. A couple of some Anti-Large. Maybe something like this. Let's just uh, wait and recruit these all from the local too, because it'll save us some coin that we don't want to waste right now. Anyway, I think that's all the time I have for this one. Uh, kind of curious. Um, oh, hang on, I got one more comment here I want to read because I want to see what it says. It says, you're wrong to think that a teacher would grade you on a whim, whether he liked it or not. There are a lot of factors that influence the quality of a paper that you can identify. Uh, if not mathematically, then at least universally. So there is no quantitative assessment of literature, yes. That does not mean a qualitative assessment is invalid or preferential. Such qualities include coherence, eloquence, logic, research, method, insight, clarity. On a different note, the fact that you are performing a form of... Uh, <laughs> you are in fact performing a form of literature. You're commenting on gameplay. <laughs> and you're able to distinguish between the quality of your performance and say that Legend of Total War or Lionheart. Uh, you could say Legend is abrasive whilst Lionheart is repetitive. Uh, or the milk and cookies does a good job of editing his replays. Neither of these assessments are mathematical, yet many would agree. <laughs> I get where you're going with that, owner. Um, there are times, though, when I definitely did feel like stuff was getting graded just because they like it. But I see what you're saying, and I agree with you in that assessment, that there are other things that won't be quantitative, but you can qualitatively assess. So, like, the use of poor grammar, the use of like repetitive words, I, like starting every sentence with I, or <laughs> something like that. Um, so yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, there are definitely factors there. I would say that that was a miscalculation in my previous statement, and I agree with your assessment. Um, let's see, Chinmay says, In my defense, Mr. Carthage, I pointed out uh, an objective mistake. Calling a composition with obvious rhyme and meter prose is catastrophic. All in good fun. <laughs> it says, P.S. I'm an engineer too, Air. Working new product development. So I do share that with you. That's cool. Great to hear that. Thanks, Chinmay. Um, thanks for all the comments from folks. We'll be done for this time, and I do appreciate those comments. Uh, please keep them coming. I love it. Try and read through as uh, uh, many as I can. Uh, it's, it's actually one, well, I don't have time to read through that one right now. But um, I'll get to some more on the next time. Air of Carthage signing out for now. I will see you then.